Hi there, CJ Math students. Tonight I'm going to help you out with homework 7.4, which is volume, a topic that we haven't discussed, and some Terranova review questions. So volume has to do with three-dimensional shapes, and you're multiplying three dimensions, the length times the width times the height. And basically, your units will be cubed because you're asking yourself how many of these one inch by one inch or one unit by one unit cubes can you stack into um, a big three-dimensional shape. So here we go. Uh, number one, it says calculate the volume of the prism. This is a prism, a three-dimensional uh, shape, a big rectangle that has three dimensions. You're going to multiply the length times the width times the height. So volume is equal to length times width times height. So you have four times five times seven. When you multiply that out, that will give you 140 centimeters cubed. All right? Next one, uh, here you have just one nine, that means this is a perfect cube, meaning everything else is nine, just like a square, if I give you one side is four, all the other sides are four. Um, so here we're gonna have volume is equal to length times width times height, so volume is equal to nine times nine times nine. When I do that, you get 729. I'll help you out with this one here, because it's a fraction, it says one fourth, I'm not sure if you could see that clearly on your paper, so it's volume is equal to length times width times height, where volume is equal to one fourth times one fourth, times one-fourth, which in this case, when you do multiplication of fractions, just multiply across, you get one-sixty-fourth B. Um, on number five, you need to change these to mixed numbers. Um, so here, seven, uh, sorry, mixed numbers to improper fractions, seven's fine, so I'm gonna do volume is equal to length times width times height. So volume is equal to seven times four and one-half um, becomes nine over two, so that was nine over two, and one and one-third, becomes four over three. Remember, you have to change mixed numbers to improper fractions before you can multiply them. All right, so I'll put the seven over one, and then I'll go ahead and multiply. So we get 252 over six, and that gives us 42. I just multiplied seven times nine times four to get 252, one times two times three to get six, and it gives you 42 cubic centimeters that you could fit little one by one centimeter by one centimeter boxes that you could fit in there. So again, number six, you want to change all these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So two and two fifths, so times ten becomes twelve over five. Three fourths is fine. Uh, we could just leave that the way it is, but maybe you couldn't see it, so it's three over four. And one and two thirds becomes plus the three, five over three. So you're multiplying 12 over five, right? Volume equals length times width times height. So volume is equal to 12 over five times three fourths times five over three. And yes, you could cross cancel if you want to. You could say, hey, these guys cancel out to one. These guys cancel out to one. Uh, you could even say, hey, the 12 and the four, they cross cancel. This guy turns to a three, this guy turns to a four. That might make it a little bit easier when you multiply across, right? So uh, what we're gonna do is Multiply four times one times five, that gives you 20. Over five times three times one, that gives you 15. Um, hopefully I didn't mess something up here. I think I might have. My fault, guys. Let me try this again. It's five thirds, this is three fourths. That's 12, hmm. 12 times three times five. Divided by five times four times three. Should give us three. Um, I messed something up here. Um, and I can't tell you why. Um, sorry, so V equals 12 over five times three over four times five over three. If I just did it this way, that'd be uh, 180 without the cross canceling over 60, and that would give you a volume of three centimeters cubed. Sorry about this, something something messed up here. Um, tell me about it tomorrow if you figure it out in the video. I, I'm trying not to stop it and do a whole nother video. <laughs> Number seven, a rectangular prism with a volume of 480 as a length of eight, and a width of 12, what is the height? So basically volume equals length times width times height. They gave you the volume of 480. They gave you, oops, my fault. They gave you the length of eight. So we don't say L anymore, we say eight. 
they give you the width of 12 times 12 times the height. So 8 times 12 gives you 96, so 480 is equal to, we did this math right here, 96H, and then divide by 96. So 480 divided by 96 gives you 5. H is equal to 5. Right? So number 8 is going to be very similar. So on the back we have some Terra Nova review stuff. Um, I basically try and help you out by telling you what you need to do. Um, so here we're going to be multiplying decimals. A uh, pyramid is built using 2.3 million blocks of stone. Each block weighs 8.5 tons. What is the total weight in millions of tons of blocks now that we're used to build the pyramid? Uh, so 2.3 times 8.5. Just going to multiply. 15, carrier 1, 10, 11, lay an egg. 24, carrier 2, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2, 18. Add it up. 5, 5, 9, 1. You have one decimal in each spot, so that means you move two decimals in the end. Once, twice, 19.55. You do 10. Um, 11 through 14 are these guys. Remember, you move left, which is negative, or right first, then up or down uh, to get to coordinates. Right? So starting at the origin zero zero how do I get to a I move right four times and up four times so that's why it's four comma four X value first then the Y value so left or right first then up or down how do I get to C I move right three times then down negative six so that's three comma negative six I moved right three times and down negative six you do B and D and lastly uh, these are actually pretty useful um, there are a couple rules the rule for the amount of degrees within a triangle is they add up to 180. So this square box right here, this right angle, measures 90 degrees. So what's the question mark? You just do 180 minus the degrees you know. So 180 minus 61 minus 90 will get you that question mark, a little bit of algebra basically. So 180 minus 61 minus 90 gives you 29. And you know if you're correct if you add them all up, 61 plus 29 plus 90, if they add up to 180, and in this case they do. All right. So one more time with this one. So again, the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we need this guy right here. So 180 minus the two that we know. So minus 120 minus 25. When I do that subtraction, I do 180 minus 120 minus 25, and I get my leftover of 35 degrees. The little zero here is a degree symbol. In a quadrilateral, they add up to 360, right? So something with four sides, they add up to 360. So you do the same thing. 360 minus 74 minus 114 minus 73. And then the remaining amount is what you have for your last angle. So in this case, it's 99 degrees, right? I'll let you figure out number 18 on your own. Um, and lastly, 19, how many more ninth grade students preferred cola than root beer? So dark is cola, striped is root beer. We go to the ninth grade. We say, okay, cola for the ninth grade was 400, and root beer was 300. I'll say RB, 300. So how many more is subtraction? So we have 100 more students, C. All right? You're responsible for 20. Call me if you have questions.